Hello, today we are going to talk about a very important topic, surface tension. First, it is important to discuss what exactly surface tension is. Surface tension is defined as the energy required to increase surface area by a unit amount. When dealing with surface tension, resistance plays an important factor. The more the resistance, or opposing force, the greater the surface tension. For our experiment, we are testing the surface tension of water. To see surface tension, you will need cardboard, a shallow container of water, liquid laundry detergent, a pencil, and scissors. First, we will be making a boat out of cardboard. To accomplish this, sketch a basic boat shape on a piece of cardboard. Draw a small notch that is triangular on the back of the boat. This is where you will place the liquid laundry detergent. Then, fill up your water bowl with room temperature water. Place your cutout boat gently on the surface of the water. What is happening when you place the boat on the water? What you may not know is there are many forces acting on the boat. First, the force of gravity is pushing down on the boat. Balancing this is buoyancy, which is the force that keeps the boat afloat on top of the water. All the forces of the boat are balanced, and this is called equilibrium. Now, place a small bit of detergent on the notch of the boat, and watch as your boat zooms across the water. What is happening here? Normally, the object, or boat, feels an equal pull in every direction. When the soap was added, this decreased the surface tension of the water at the back of the boat, causing the front water, not the detergent, to pull it forward. The boat was pulled forward because the force was greater at the front of the boat than the back of the boat. In nature, we see this with water skimmers or the tiny bugs you see floating on the top of the water. These bugs utilize surface tension to be able to rest on top of the water. They are so light that instead of sinking, they float across. Thank you for watching our video on surface tension. Hopefully we provided an informative source where you could learn more information on how surface tension relates to water.